Hello everybody, this is Troll Force again, and uh, welcome to the Black Eagle Castle, another game by Frictional, and uh, we're going to head in, but first, I was asked to do this by a friend, and um, yeah, a friend asked me to do this, so yeah, about that AdSense account, dude, um, yeah, I'm going to show you right now how to do it. I tried recording, uh, perhaps, like, of, um, just the browser, but I didn't know how to do it, so... We're doing it this way. We just okay. Now, as you know, you go YouTube.com and then go to your channel. Holy man, I got turned the fan on. Pause balls right now. So yeah, we'll start on the YouTube page. Click here, click here, go click to your channel icon, and uh, yeah, I know you use a phone, but I don't know, like, um, if it's the same way, then uh, but it's a different way, just, what the fuck, why is it loading? Anyway, just to make it easier, let me just, god damn it, what the fuck? Sorry about that. Web browser's fucking up. Let's try this again. Hopefully this fucking thing will go away. Alright, I think it's because it's trying to run ads or something. Let's see if this works now. Oh yeah. So you go to Creator Studio. Yeah, you click there, go to Creator Studio. And uh... Well, uh, where is it? Uh, we see one of your videos right here. Click on edit. But if you don't have an SS account, like um, if you click on monetization, like this won't be this won't be here on the monetization. There'll be a yellow bar that says you need to have an AdSense account to use to um use ads and um things like that. So then uh, go to Google. Again, if you weren't on there already. God damn it. Yeah, Google. Then um look up AdSense sign up. Now I uh, click here on the sign up. And while you're there, you're gonna need your email for this, so um you should already have it, so you uh, click sign in, and you're um, I'm already logged in, but I'm showing you an example. Once you um log in with your current account, then um, it'll take you to your website, like you, or you put in your YouTube username in, and then after that you put in your information like where you live and stuff like that. And I can't really show you right now. I don't have a spare account to show you, but this is just an example, all right? So I'm pretty sure you know what know what to do now. So let's get into this video. All right, Black Eagle Class. What the fuck? What is wrong with me? I can't read. All right. Oh wait. Okay, turn the sound on. Slow me. Black Eagle Castle, by fictional, is November 12th, 1980. What the fuck? God damn, I am embarrassed. Shit. <laughs> November 12th, 1980. Why the fuck do I keep saying 80s? Christ, it's 34. 1934. You're an 18 year old American named Norman Black. Your mother was murdered when you were just a few days old. You never knew your father and you lived in an orphanage your whole life. You are now expected to survive in the world during the Great Depression. That's when you receive a letter from London. The game starts with you in a London apartment. Christ, that was embarrassing. I just kept saying 1980, whatever the fuck. Like, it's not 80s. Hey, dumbass. Dumbass, dumbass, dumbass. <coughs> I, so ironically, I read a lot, but I don't 
read what I say, so that's probably why. I read faster. Just now. All right, here we go. Holy shit! Is this Fallout? Wait a second. Twelfth of November, night. Ooh, they turn it up. Nineteen thirty-four. My name is Norman Black. I was an industrial worker in America. Lately, things in America have gone bad. The stock market crashed in 1929 and things have gone downhill from there. Less food on the table, no more entertainment like going to the theater. Just work, work, and more work. The economy has entered an ordinary recession during the summer in 1929. As consumer spending plummeted and unbought goods started to stack up, slowing production. As far as social and political changes in these hard times, crime rate has risen due to people stealing money for food on the table. Suicide rates have sadly increased. Prostitution has risen for women looking to pay the bills. Higher levels of education remains out of the hands of most Americans, sadly. The lives of Americans that was once great for a lot in the roaring twenties have now turned dark for most. Lack of food, money, clothes, have all hit most Americans by surprise, changing their way of living dramatically. The government is now trying to take much more care in helping citizens financially. President Roosevelt's New Deal is implementing new systems such as Social Security and the FDIC. But as times are still hard in America, I've decided to move into London to work secretly in a castle known as the Black Eagle Castle. After receiving an abrupt letter from London about the opportunity, I knew I couldn't give it up. The letter was particularly odd and mentioned no names, but it contained enough money to move into London and had a key and map leading to an apartment. I packed the little I had and found myself in a small apartment waiting for a horse carriage the note mentioned that would pick me up. I can't believe I was about to work in a castle. I was about to embark a journey into the unknown. Damn, dude, awesome intro. <laughs> Holy shit, it was like the beginning of Fallout. Seriously. <laughs> oh wait. This is your this is your second game. I mean, damn, it, it improved <sighs> Well, I guess it's time to get ready to go. Seriously, it improved like a thousand percent. It's awesome. Like for the first one, like, oh god, I can't wait to see how this one is. <laughs> Ooh. Well, ain't this a nice London morning? I got my old ass grandpa's World War II fucking lantern right on my desk and a le mysterious letter. Ooh. Oh my fuck. Alright, it packed. Um pillows! Pillows! What else is here? Ooh, a little fire. Dude, the atmosphere. The atmosphere on here is the fucking bomb, I swear. Alright, that turn first. Always, always the lantern. What's this? Letters to Norman Black. At the age of 18, in the midst of hard economic times in America, about to leave your orphanage into the world, I would imagine you're in somewhat of a predicament. Don't worry. You are gone. You have a great. Of what the fuck? You have a great future. Come to London. Directions will be given to an apartment. You should sleep there. There are nearby diners, shops, and other places to explore during the day. By 5 o'clock p.m., be back at the apartment and wait for an old horse carriage to come pick you up. Bring a light source because it will be dark by the time you get there. And a big, 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 big ass oil caster. Container. Stupid fuck. <laughs> right. Okay. Fill it up. Alright, let's go. First shirt. Shit. Nope. 
Nothing here. Fucking close. Fuck it. <laughs> <coughs> the horse carriage is finally met its destination, and you wake along. You wake from a long nap. You must find your way in by foot. This is as far as I can take it, sir. You see that deep, dark, dank forest up ahead? I can't fucking go there. I don't get paid enough for this shit. Get your shit and get out. That's my Uber driver was me. The coachman said he, the coachman said he, to give away f some of your what? The coachman said to give away some of yourself to enter. Wonder what that could mean. I don't know either. I had time, hard time reading it. Well, fuck off, coachman. <laughs> this is my adventure. God damn it. I think I hear some creepy wood sounds. Like some wolves and shit. <laughs> Hello? Anybody at this house? I'm gonna throw a rock at the door if you don't answer. Gamekeeper. What's this? Norman never knew his father or his mother. He only knew his mother was killed when he was just a few days old. That's sad. Kinda like Philip. You know, his father never showed up for his birth, and his mother died, like, all at the beginning of the game. Hello, gamekeeper, are you here? Gamekeeper, can I take a shit? It's been a long trip, you see. Wait, is this corpse spied music? God damn it! Ignore that. Ignore that. Fuck. That's a corpse spied piano music, isn't it? I know my shit. <laughs> Alright. I like it though. I like the music. Nice bathroom. So nice I couldn't even bear to shit in a nice toilet. Wait a minute, what? What's this over here? Who puts perfectly good wine good wine next to a priceless artifact? <laughs> Oh, oh. That is corpse bride. Um, oh. didn't say anything. If I never heard the song go for that long, it's like if you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. I like it. Oh no, I won't get copyrighted for that shit. But I'm pretty sure it'll be covered in credits or the description. Okay, I see this. Mind powers! The gamekeeper sits in his bedroom, writing letter after letter to the Baron about people he's captured for trespassing into the castle's property, awaiting the guard's arrival to take them to the wicked dungeons under the castle. <coughs> I all said that with one breath. What's it? Why are the closets always locked? I wish I could pick these up. Whoa! Shit! Okay, good, there's nothing in it. What a lovely bed. Okay. Alright. Well, before I go down this hole, I'm gonna cut it, I'm gonna cut it right here so, and make part two immediately. So, uh, yeah. Frictional. I just love the beginning so far. It's authentic, really. It's original. Keep it up. Keep it up with your Midas Chapter 2 and whatever the hell you're gonna do next. Keep it up, alright? Well, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!